Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit different of a video here today. If you clicked into this thinking that you're going to get some comic book content, I apologize. Um, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming all this week, but I wanted to take this one video and use it as an opportunity to talk about something that is very important to me. Um, when you're watching this, it will have been the start of what is known as Suicide Prevention Week. And September 10th actually is Suicide Prevention Day, so maybe on the 10th you'll see a lot of posts about it and videos and stuff. And I felt like, why wait? Um, and why not put something out now if there could be a video that helps somebody out there? Because suicide prevention is something very important to me and very personal to me and actually probably the reason why this channel exists um, four years ago my brother took his own life and in the wake of that one of the things that happened to me is after being devastated i got very nostalgic and i looked back towards uh, the comics i used to collect with him when i was a little kid and that really put me on kind of the path to get back into comic book collecting, which in effect led me to making this YouTube channel. So um, there is a connection here between how I feel about comic books and, you know, suicide prevention and, and what it means to me. So I just wanted to take some time today in this video just to talk a little bit about my experience with it and my story and maybe share it with some people and if it can be helpful to anyone watching, um, that will be worth it, in my opinion. Um, I guess the first place I want to start is to maybe address anyone who's watching this video uh, who might be thinking suicidal thoughts. And just share my thoughts as someone who has experienced losing their brother to suicide. I guess what I would say to you is, look, I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what circumstances you're in, and I don't know what pain you're feeling, but I'm sure you don't want to die, and you would rather just have the pain stop. And what I guess I would say to you is, you know, when, when my brother took his life, you know, maybe his pain stopped, but it didn't go away because, um, you know, I inherited some of it. My family inherited some of it. His friends inherited some of it. The pain doesn't go away. It just transfers over to the people that love and will miss you. And so what I would say to you is, if you're thinking about it and you want the pain to stop, instead of maybe going ahead and forward with it, since you're already going to share that pain with the people in your life that, that are going to miss you, why not take the opportunity to share that pain with them right now? If you're feeling this way, reach out to someone that you love, that you're friends with, because they'll want to help you, you know? Take the time to speak to someone. Don't hide it. And maybe you're thinking you don't want to be a burden to anybody, but I promise you, it is worth being a burden to any of the people in your life. Um, more than having to deal with the fallout of you taking it. So please, if you're feeling this way, please reach out to someone and share how you're feeling with someone because they want to help you. There's someone there that wants to help you. I'm sure if your friend was feeling suicidal, you would be there for them. So you have to know that they would be there for you. 
So I, I hope that you can get the help that you need and talk to someone and share your feelings with that person so that you can live another day. I guess the last couple of things I would say to leave you guys with is, you know, maybe you're someone who's never been suicidal or you've never had suicidal thoughts, but you want to kind of help in some kind of way. And what I would just say is try to be the person who is there for your friends and your family. Be the person that is easy to talk to or share your thoughts and feelings and failures and anxiety and depression with those that you love because they might find that it is easier to share their feelings with you if you can do that. You know, we all have people in our life that we think about, oh, well, I should call them. You know, I, I, oh, I've been meaning to call my friend. Oh, I've been meaning to call my sister. Oh, I've been meaning to call my mom. At the very least, I guess, after you watch this video, just call that person that you love, that you've been putting off, that you've been meaning to. Sorry. and uh, ask them how they're doing. Do it today, don't wait. Really ask them how they're doing, you know? We all know someone in our life that could be going through some hard things, or maybe we don't, but I think it can do a lot of good to open yourself up to those that you love and give them an avenue to open up to you. So, I miss my brother a lot. There's gonna be people that miss you too if you take your life. You have value. You are worth living. So please give yourself a chance to live another day. Anyways, um, that's all I got. Please reach out. I put some info in the description for some numbers you can call if you have no one you feel like you can talk to. Um, anyways, thanks for letting me share that, guys. And um, we'll go back to comic book collecting in the next video. Thanks.